Hi everybody, it's Kathy over inside the Crafter Studio and I wanted to talk about the dashboard in the Filofax. It seems like um, there are a lot of questions on it and uh, people just don't really know what to do with it. Well here is my dashboard. This is basically where all my information goes that I just stick post-it notes on in the front of my cover so that way it doesn't interfere with my inside uh, calendar. So it comes with a clear one already. Filofax usually, if you purchase it through the actual website um, or a store, it comes with a clear one. Well, uh, I have these Hamley screen prints which are designed. So it pretty much is a little bit prettier than your typical clear Filofax. So mine is decorated up front. I'm sure everybody knows the infamous little Amy Tangerine uh, decorations that I have on it and this is actually a green color. I also wanted to show you the different sizes that I make my inserts with. This is a five and a quarter by three and three quarters. This one is a six by three and three quarters. This one is a full sheet. This one is the exact sheet of paper that your uh, Philo page is. A good way to do to use your dashboard is to put it in, in between your pages. So I actually punched a hole and I did little slits in them. So that way I can just uh, stick it in here and not have to worry about opening up my rings. I could just pop them right in here and, and I'm good and complete. And you can actually move your dash anywhere you want, any any which way in whatever file or folder that you want. So now the reason why I'm showing you this is because I'm actually going to start listing them on my paper-addict.com website. Again, that's paper-addict.com website. It's um it's a website that I oops, sorry, there's a credit card number on there. It's a website that I actually sell. I used to sell a lot of washi tapes on there. So uh, I'm just going to list a bunch of dashboards that I'm going to have on there. This smaller size one, if you can see it, is a uh, dollar. The medium size one, which isn't really too much different from the full, it's only about a half an inch shorter, is a dollar twenty-five, and the full size one is a dollar fifty. And shipping is uh, is a dollar per item, and um, Obviously, I combine shipping, so I wanted to show you some designs that I do have. This is the cloud. This is an adorable baby onesie. This is in the smaller sizes, too. I'm going to show you all of them in order. This is the honeycomb. This is the herringbone. This is the butterfly. Honeycomb. Chevron. There's a couple of different chevrons. Banners. A letter one. This is actually the one that I use on my dashboard, but my dashboard has circles on it. Small circles, open circles, it's like a floral print, floral. This is going into the medium size now. This one is silver clouds, or gray, but it's actually silver. Here's a white clouds. It's a full pink. Different green colors. A lot of these are one one offs. I mean, they're like one of a kinds. So, if you see one that you like, definitely grab it because it's probably the only one that I have. And purple circles. Uh, real quick, this binder is. Um, kit by russellandhazel.com. It's a great little binder for um, storage. I usually put stuff like this in there. 
but this is actually no longer um, being sold. I bought it at, at Target many years ago. And this is my new orange Metropole. That's a compact size. Just wanted to show you that. And these are the full size now. So uh, these are a little bit bigger. Um, I don't have pocket sizes. So I suggest if you do have a pocket size to buy uh, probably the medium or the large. You can actually probably just get the small. I don't know what the pocket size measurements are. And punch your own holes in them. White honeycomb. White herringbone. How great that looks. White clouds. White baby onesies. Different butterfly ones. Floral. Some leaves. Yellow honeycomb. Chevron. Chevron. Latisse. Banners. Circles again. Purple, like floral stuff. And then the airplane ones. These, this is actually one of my favorites. So that's that. And then I wanted to show you what I did with one of me, my inserts. I don't know how I'm going to cover this little staple, but I kind of made, I've stuck my pen loop on here. And then I just stuck it inside, like, I'll either put it in the back of my uh, binder. So that way when it does go in there eventually, I have an extra spare pen loop in there. So that's my dashboards. And again, they're going to be on sale today if you check out www.paper-addict.com. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.